Welcome back. For those just joining us on YouTube, uh, this is part two of our Twitch Rivals MTG Arena tournament. Uh, we are currently 1-2, unfortunately. Uh, you guys can see all of the details of that in part one, which is already up. So uh, hopefully you guys check that out. And before the top eight, there are three more rounds. So we're going to refresh this and see who we're playing this round. I assume Yellow Hat and Yellow Hat and Raynad are playing right now. Raynad being an extremely prominent um, Hearthstone streamer and content creator. And Yellow Hat is Gabriel Nassif. So, Blue Danube, thank you so much for the 10 bones. Really appreciate it. Uh, funny story, I was probably going to go see Into the Spider-Verse tonight. And Yobel Karam, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are great. I think the best part is Mike's little smile. string is literally exploding. <laughs> are we talking about the... Um, are we talking about Mike's dad coming back? Because that's pretty funny. All right, so we do have this one round left. Uh, not exactly. Uh, round four is up. Okay, so that was literally... Oh, it just refreshed. Perfect. So I am playing... Don't know who this is. Tides of Time. And we'll check in. So I guess we both checked in. Oh, it's a Tempo Storm player. All right. We are both 1-2. Let me see if I can find their name. Challenge number. Tides of time. Cool. Got it. So we're going to go to direct challenge. Play. Get the regular list. And we'll send the old challenge arena. And that was fast. Wow. This was nice. Oh, this list is interesting. Two Nexus of Faith, one Expansion Explosion, four Deafening Clarion, two Settle the Wreckage. These decks with four Deafening Clarion are great against us because we just have no threats. They have four Teferi, um, but no real creatures. Four Sailor of Means. So this hand's actually pretty bad with three removal spells. Looks like they have two Expansion... No, they have one Expansion Explosion. It's just on two separate lines. So... One Cleansing Nova, four Pirates Pillage, two Settle, four Treasure Map. Let's Mulligan. Um, this seems better, especially with two answers for Teferi and a second turn Search and ideally a third turn Sailor. This hand is actually great. We'll bottom that guy. We want to hit lands here. So we get to see turn a turn two card, a turn three card, and a Search card. So we get... Well, that answers that. I feel like Search for Azkanta and um, Treasure Map are very, very similar. Uh, Graveyard. That's actually a great card not to pick up. Alright. Do they have counter spells? What counter spells do they have? It looks like three negate are the only counter spells they have in the entire deck, which is extremely nice for us. Because our creatures should resolve, and then the only answers for the creatures are the two settle and the one cleansing Nova. Three seal away as well, I guess. They also have one bane fire. So I guess their win cons are Teferi, Nexus, Bane Fire, Explosion Expansion. Um Yeah, we're going to library that. I don't want to not draw lands here. This is how we do it. Sailor of Means control. Whatever that means. Wow, that's great actually. That is a dude. Well, I'm hoping you don't have the negate. I am not going to sit this way. We need to move quickly. Alright, we want to land here. Uh, 
just another great hit. Jeez. Oh boy, we're just we're just living it up. I only have three negates in the deck. And now you don't have any. That's great. Unless you want to use a treasure for it. I guess you could still have a negate. All right. Okay, so you can revitalize and then hit a negate. All right, so you're definitely looking for a negate. Ooh, boy, that feels good. <laughs> All right, Eldest Reborn, getting rid of a Teferi. Then getting rid of a card, then reanimating a Teferi. No you're right, no more games because you have died. This is why there are no more games. So as far as I know, they don't have any way to get Teferi out of the graveyard. I do like Pirate's Pillage in conjunction with Treasure Code. Like, it's just nice to have a card that says Tap Draw Card. Um. Hmm. I feel like we actually declined to discard here. I think these, like, with only three Teferis left on there, like, having both Varaska's Contempt seems pretty good. We also get a Teferi next turn. My concern is them playing a second Teferi, tucking their own Teferi, and then just being able to get back that guy. But, I mean, at that point, we're ready. Sure. I know. Responsibility. They can't tuck anything here. Because otherwise it just dies to Sailor. Even tucking Elister Born doesn't seem great. Interesting. And oh, these are great hits. I'm really get. I'm just glad to get rid of these cards. Yeah, we're getting rid of that guy one way or another. I just wanted to see if I can bait out a seal away on a on a sailor of means. Which is totally fine. I don't need this. I need this. And we also have seven land, seven mana on board right now, so we have no real rush to. Discarding a settle, so you have set, so both your seal aways are gone, and you have a settle in the graveyard. Just kind of listening to the new freshly brewed episode. Hope you're doing well. I'll be in the distant future when you read this. That is true. Welcome to the future. Oh, I have to hit resolve. I did not realize that. Wow, I can't believe we keep hitting all of these and, and just like... Just great hits. Um... So what is this? Six cards? Seven cards? So this gets a flip next turn? That's pretty cool. Um, do I actually just play Eldest Reborn here? It doesn't make them sack anything, but it does get us a Teferi at some point. And we also exiled one already. Is that good?
I mean, they'd have to have a third Teferi of four. I think it's fine because we have Raska's Contempt in hand. So if they want to negate this, it's fine. Yep. Deal. Like we get to we get to flip search next turn, which is pretty strong. They will run out of treasures, but we might not run out of search for Escantas. <laughs> sure. I mean, that's that's fine. Uh, graveyard. Transform. Oh, that is a thing, I guess. It is a card. Really have nothing to do here, which is kind of sad. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. Alright. Hey, Lava Coil has a target. What a time to be alive. It's your boy. Why did you tap search? Oh god, things like that are just so brutal, dude. hate that it does that automatically like well it's a, it only taps for a blue so we prioritize it the same way and we do an island it's just not good i mean luckily we drew this so we had something to do with our mana so i think it's okay but i think drawing a card might have even still been better what answers do they have for planeswalkers they don't have bane fire they have expansion explosion it doesn't look like any which is kind of weird So many, so many treasure maps. This guy's definitely coming to Rally's Alley. Come on, read through it. What do we got here? Trash can. Dragon's Horde. Search for the unknown. That's real science. Um. Can we play this and play? No, we're just gonna play Sarkon. One, two, three, and we have one, two. We have to waste a treasure. I don't really see the point of that. Don't think we need dragon's hordes here. I'm actually gonna kill this dude now. Because these planeswalkers ultimating is a very real thing. And they only have one settle the wreckage. So I'm gonna start writing down what they have left. One explosion, one expansion. Two negates, two teferis. No, oh, end turn. That was my bad. They have three seal aways. One seal away, one nova. So those are their main threats. One settle, one explore, expansion explosion, two negate, two teferi, one seal away, one nova. Those are kind of what we're playing around now. But like, only the Teferis and the Expansion Explosion really deal with Planeswalkers. Let's be the battlefield. Let's make sure we put that on and we can put that on the bottom. Don't 
out my methods. So we have one, two, a million mana. They have Cleansing Nova. They could Cleansing Nova us. But they lose a card, and we draw a card from the Cleansing Nova, so... Yep, seems okay. An embarrassment of riches. Is that the third seal away they discarded? What did they discard the bullets? They discarded the third seal away. I don't understand. Sure. They only have two Nexus in their deck, so it's like... So it's not... They can't, it's not, they can't go infinite super easily. assume they have a settle here. Bolus told me I should do this. Ooh, let's see what we got. So we can get just Tefri out of here, right? This puts up a 10 and this is 9 in the air and then one more from the damage, so... I'm not going to walk into a settle the wreckage and have them both get killed. That seems pretty bad. Okay. Um, I guess we're just going to play Tefra here. Have an agate. And you do have an agate. Want me to phase you out of time? We can flip you, which I think we're going to do. I kind of just want to avoid having them expansion explosion us for lethal again, because that was annoying. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15, 16. So they can only do it for 12, and we have 20 cards. So I think we're OK in that regard.
I just don't really want to get close to 15 cards without putting this game away. Next time we can draw one, two, three, four. <laughs> Attack for five. I mean, they don't have any seal aways left. We know that. They have one negate left. So we have one Nova, two Teferi, one Negate, one Explosion Expansion, and one Settle the Wreckage. And now it doesn't matter. So this is a situation where four Planeswalkers actually did work. So that's pretty cool. And they also did work, if you know what I mean. Yeah, they, board in, they don't board into any creatures, so we're going to just board into counter spells. We're going to just play our control deck, I think. Invoke the Divine. They do have... Uh, they have Sanguine Sacrament, which is interesting. We have two Disdainful, two Negate. We'll also one Dive Down for something like... Um, for the... Settle the... Uh, seal Aways. Invoke could also be pretty good. Oh, it's in our it's in our it's in our deck. That's that's nice. Invoke is good for treasure maps for uh, also seal aways. Don't care about any of these guys. Elderstorborn, actually not terrible. Kind of like Eldest Reborn in here. As opposed to maybe like. Maybe like the dive down is pretty narrow. Yeah, I like, like it better. Alright. So that's what we're going to do. Control play. I don't know if they bring in Settle or Cleansing Nova. Like, I don't know if we have enough things to warrant those. Yeah, this hand seems great. Dragon Sword into uh, Niv Mizzet at some point, but. Oh, none of these come into play untapped, though, which is a big deal. Like you do. Nope, that ain't gonna do it either. Current. Negate is nice here. Got them counter spells on lockdown. Oh, that was a main phase. That was a main phase, Duder. Alright, so now it's happening out for Tefri, which is nice. Oh, they still could, I guess. Just use the treasure. But if we hit a land, we get to go Contempt and keep up Counterspell, so... That's a thing in it. So they have to discard three and then they discard another one. They have no treasures left. I mean, it's a lot of value they're losing here. Yep. All right, shuffle that boy back in. Sure. Baneful and disdain. Baneful and banefire and disdain. Bane and disdain. That's good. Oh, that's. Oh, that would have been good. However, I mean, did they just like? So 
So now they just discard their hand to do this. And then they just don't have anything left. Sure. I mean, this is a this is a pretty big gamble. Like, they draw one card, and then we get to play Eldest Reborn again if we hit a land. If we don't hit a land, we're dead, though. So that's, that's really the... We did not hit a land. Does this guy have, like, Island Walk? Can't be blocked. All right. Well... Your last card, I guess. <laughs> what a game, dude. <laughs> wow. Yep, seems good. Not sure what happened here. Theoretically, we could have waited till their turn to play like Vraska's Contempt. So they denies them a an attack, but if they end up drawing a counter spell, it's pretty bad. They also get to end up they they end up they draw they draw a fourth card and they get to end up keeping whatever they whatever they play. You know what I mean? So I should be on the play theoretically. Let's hope it works out that way. It's been working out that way so far. Um, you go first. All right, cool. And we have a watery grave, which makes this hand really good. All right, I'm game. I feel like being on the play here is very, very favorable. Um, so I want to play this, even though we could counter their treasure map, because I want to be able to play Sailor on three. No, they didn't have a Sailor. They didn't have a treasure map. Sure. Hmm. Seems good. So if we hit a land, we can actually go Sarkon. We can go 1-2 Sarkon. Okay, so just to be clear, this is pointing at the Sarkon. Oh, the negate. Okay, so yeah, we're going to counter the negate that is targeting the Sarkon. Yeah, that's confusing. I don't really want to discard anything in my hand, so I'm going to decline. I feel like we're in better shape here. One, two, three. I mean, they have more cards. They have three more cards, but we have a Planeswalker. That's cool. I wish Sarkhan could also use, be used for activated abilities as well. Also, expansion explosion if they if they play like a counter spell or like a blink of blink of an eye or something, we have to copy it. Huh. Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five. Oh wow, we just get to eat Teferi? As soon as I think of one. That's crazy. I guess let's see if you have it. You do. Um I don't see a reason to discard anything still, so. Okay. You got it. We have Sarkon next turn. If we can hit a counter spell at some point, two, three, four. At some point, then we get to. Uh... Hmm. 
uh, I was like, why didn't let me copy that? Oh, because it was like a million. Um, I kind of just want to ultimate Sarkon here. I mean, if they didn't bring in Settle or... Or, like, Cleansing Nova, I mean, this feels good. Okay, they did. That's pretty comical. Target creature plans on a player, target a player. Come on, dude. All three negates and the cleansing nova. Seems good. Out of the game yet by any means like you still have tons of draws no time for a break. but like seriously I mean I kind of want wonder to win though because then my tiebreakers are great Yep, this game's over. That sucks. Not sure if this is even worth playing out at this point. Wow, Ultimate at Sarkon, they had the answer. Three card explosion expansion had the answer. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. have three cards and a treasure. Yeah, like, this is just unbeatable now. Actually surprising. I think we were actually in really good shape for a, quite a while, but literal three negates is probably... I mean, three out of four negates is probably exactly where... Uh, yeah. Where we can't really get back, so... And then game two, they have, like, Nezahal in, like, turn four or something ridiculous, and we just can't deal with it, so... If they have another Nexus of Fate, then we're just dead, so. Like, even if they don't, we have no way to answer this. Like, we have to draw two removal spells for this guy, and we just draw lands, like mono lands for the last five turns. So, what can you do? I mean, there's two more rounds. Might as well stick around, try to go 3-3. Three, three. But, um... Yeah, that was uh, pretty obnoxious. Definitely don't think three three is gonna gonna cash. So, wow, almost instantaneously they they reported that result. Jesus, <laughs> it's like already reported. Like, wow, you didn't even waste a second. I wonder if they I wonder if they recorded it like even before the match was over. Yep, so um, here we are. Good times. <laughs> yeah, they posted in the announcements that they're like, please keep sideboarding down to three minutes. If you take an excessive amount of time, we can assign game losses at admin's discretion. And I'm like, well, can you assign a game loss for my first round opponent who literally didn't... Like, I mean, in a regular Magic event, you're going to get an extra... You're going to get a 15-minute time extension, which would have been nice. Oh, boy. Good times, good times.
yeah, so I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't want to take a 25 minute break, so I'm not even sure what to do for this for this downtime. I guess we can just play a ranked game. I don't really want to do that though. I mean, you know, cleansing Nova for the Sarkon Ultimate, pretty brutal. Negate for the following. Rel's Eric, pretty brutal. I mean, they left Sarkon on board, so they probably assumed we were going to ultimate it. We could have actually played more conservatively and, um, like, made them, like, you know, held out, keep the, the Rel's Eric. Or not the Rel's Eric, the Sarkon. Keep the Sarkon up so that it doesn't uh, die. Just wait a turn. But uh, they had one Cleansing Nova in the main deck and one in the sideboard. So two in the entire deck. And I'm not sure, like, it doesn't even seem like it's worth... Is it good bringing... I don't even know if it's good to bring in. Like, you just kill what? Like, it kill... I mean, like, if I have a bunch of guys out, but my deck has, like, one creature in play at a time. Not including Sailor, but I guess they're good, so... I don't know. I have, like, very, very minimal. I have, like, one enchantment and one artifact, so... I don't know. Yeah, there are currently one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine matches still going. Yeah, so this event has not gone well from uh, from beginning to end, unfortunately. I mean, obviously, ideally, we'll be still be invited next time, and uh, things will go a little better, but. I'm still, I, I mean, I hate to say it, I'm not, like, super upset. I mean, I don't know, I don't want to say, I'm, I'm, I'm not super upset about it, right? It's it's tilting, though, that, like, nothing was done about the first round. Like, you can just take as much as you want while researching your opponent's deck, and there's literally no penalty or no time extension. Like, this is not a low-stakes tournament, you know? So, I still haven't watched the clip that you guys sent earlier, so I'm going to have to do that later. I don't want to do it now, because the volume would be on the stream, and probably not great but um yeah i'm gonna go uh walk around cool off about 10 minutes and i'll see you guys probably around 4 50 eastern time so um don't go anywhere i'll see you in a minute welcome back guys so I'm probably going to cut these breaks out of the YouTube video, so if you don't notice them, that is why. If you do notice them, I didn't cut them. I'm probably going to cut them. So one thing that's interesting, I was going to cover this in my final thoughts breakdown at the event. I'll still cover other things. Um, one thing is interesting to note that Numatanami Kenji is 2-2, right? Jeff Hoagland is 2-2. And I'm looking at just magic players specifically, right? Ali Entrazi is 2-2. Yoel Larson, who defeated me in round two, is 2-2. Two, two. Uh, Gabriel Nassif, Yellow Hat, is currently 1-2, and I think they he lost his last round. So, 1-3 maybe? And um, just a lot of interesting records that the, the actual Magic players, the actual... You know, professional, well-known, established Magic players um, do not have stellar records. You know what I mean? Like, it's interesting that a lot of the, a lot of the Magic players in the pool are actually two-two. Sean McLaren is three-one, uh, and he is in eighth place right now. Um, Caleb is in first. He is four-zero. HC Justin is twelve. Is, uh, is second. He's also has twelve points in second place, um, and the only other person in the top eight right now that 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 I know of is Sean McLaren, which is the only other Magic player I can see. So that's interesting, because Saffron Olive has six points. He is two two. It's just kind of funny. Most of the Magic players are uh, not killing it here. I mean, I am 38th at 1-3, so I can't really say anything. I've lost two three Jeskai control decks, which is an interesting fact. I, I mean, like, I don't think our deck is 
our deck isn't a traditional control deck and it's not a traditional like mid-range deck either like we have some control elements and some mid-range elements and uh, we're best suited against aggressive decks that have a bunch of things that we can kill with cards like deafening clarion or lava coil or Vraska's contempt so when your opponent has a control deck that can reliably deal with our creatures and also just deal us 10 damage and copy it so it's 20 damage it's pretty hard to win those so yeah it's kind of i mean it's unfortunate that we got paired against three jeskai control decks but them's the breaks we obviously won the one match that was not jeskai and was creature based which was the celestia tokens deck so i mean we're gonna play it out we have two more rounds going three three seems fine uh obviously if that's what happens we could definitely uh just go one five that is also an option but it's a learning experience and our deck is fun so i mean i think if nothing else seven minute warning finish up games matches or you'll be assigned a draw if you're almost done at a round end please let me know so Yeah, if there's a game one that's still going after 56 minutes, they likely just haven't reported it yet. I think you're talking about the Xiao um, El Magicero match, which uh, likely isn't in game one. But So I'm just going to go direct challenge, remove this, and bring in the regular version. So we're ready to go. And the Roomba just started, which is probably going to be pretty loud. So I'm actually going to pause that dude for now. Actually, I want to say let me know if you can hear it, but then it's going to be five minutes until you let me know. So... Anyway, it is 5 p.m. right now, which is kind of awkward because um, when the matches go past this amount, like you don't actually have extra time at the end. So if a match goes like three minutes past and it takes two more minutes for the opponent to come, it's like, well, you're, you know, that's everybody's time and then our match is slow. So it's going to be, this is going to be round five. What's up, Sarcastatron? You will see my greeting in five minutes. Round four is not done yet, so we are waiting on that. So I'm going to go over here. Yeah, the admins are actually asking the two rounds that are still playing if they're almost done. I'm going to try to keep you guys updated so it's not too boring here while we wait for round five. Um... Like I said, I don't think our deck is bad. I actually think our deck is fine. I just think we don't have traditional counter spells and we're not applying pressure quick enough um, against the control decks, right? So like if we both have infinite time, but they have counter spells and they have ways that can end the game that we can't respond to, then it's really hard to deal with. Like if they're gonna go, uh, you know, explosion expansion our face for 11 and then copy it, forcing us to draw 22 cards to kill us, we have no way to stop that. Like, So we have to win within a certain time, and they have enough things to do that makes it hard to do. I just got a notification from AMC, and it's called, like, a snacker pack. Uh, two regular fountain drinks, two candies, and a regular popcorn. And it says, for just $24, <laughs> two drinks, a popcorn, and two candies. Huh. So let's let's break that down. You can get a drink, 7-Eleven, for two bucks. You can get a, a one liter, a 20, a 20 ounce for two bucks, for two bucks. So that's four bucks. You can get a bag of popcorn for about three bucks. 
You can get candies for a dollar fifty probably. So that's three bucks for both. So we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten bucks. This is still fourteen dollars higher than if you just brought it to uh if you just brought it to the theater and snuck it in. But like that's ridiculous. I mean like they're trying to I think I love how they're advertising it as a deal. If it came with movie tickets, I'd be like, oh that's an amazing deal. But yeah, two drinks, two candies, and a popcorn for twenty four dollars is pretty ridiculous that's not even a real amount of money actually that's a very real amount of money which is why i don't really understand it okay it looks like they're almost done um so um yeah, I just asked them, like, do we get an extension this round so that we don't have to start at, like, 5.10 and only have 50 minutes? Or when? how does that work? So we're going to figure that out. Appreciate you guys hanging out, despite the, uh, the slowness, the downtime. So there's literally only one match left. Actually, no, I think this match was reported, so. Round five, not up yet. Hunter, stop. God, he just, every time I'm streaming, he's just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep licking myself. Yeah, I mean, you can't stop people from intentionally drawing, right? Like, I mean. It's not against the rules of Magic the Gathering, so. <sighs> it is hard. To, they made it un, you made, they made it unable to do in Magic Online, which is interesting, because they just didn't like the idea of that. But realistically, you can't stop people from drawing in real life, so I don't know why they stopped them in Magic Online either. So. All right, round five. Who are we playing? Richard Hammer. I do not know who Richard Hammer is. So 505 is when I first checked in. It says waiting for opponent to check in. If they don't check in within a certain amount of time, like 23 minutes, they get disqualified, so. So I'm just going to put it here. Got to fire this bad boy off. And uh, we'll see how that works. So. Yep, this round will last until 6.05 p.m. Eastern time because of the five minute delay. So, okay. Oh, band control deck. Fantastic. Sad that you could see that before me. I haven't checked yet, but... Oh, God. Cleansing Nova, Nexus of Fate, Gift of Paradise. Uncomfortable Chill, Pause for Reflection, Root Snare, Chart of Course, Four Teferi, Two Karns. Yeah. This is going to be another. Oh, boy. Can you get some knowledge from the future? Uh, we don't do well in this event, unfortunately, despite uh, a good amount of testing. So. Well, I'm sitting here waiting, so. Thank you. 
Oh, something just happened. Who cares? Thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back, buddy. 12 months. What a whole year. Nothing I'd rather watch on our 12-month anniversary. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, of course, the band control deck, the uh, the fog deck, is all right. Well, they have they have checked in, so I'm just just waiting, just waiting for them to show up. All right, we did it. Sergio went awesome. I told the doctor if I didn't know he was a professional, I would have said he cut five holes on a start from the front. That's awesome, dude. Try, Chad, glad, glad to hear it, buddy. Uh, I think this hand is actually okay. I hate Lava Coil now because none of my none of my opponents today, literally none of them have had creatures in their deck except for the Celestia control deck, which is extremely awkward. Like, I'm actually not sure how that even how that is even a thing. I do like Sarkon into uh, Dragon's Horde into Nicol Bolas on turn four. Is that right? I think that's right. Yep, that's a thing. So we're going to play a land here. We're going to Sarkon. We can easily pitch a land here. Probably a steam lance. The dragon whispers of your demise. All right, so four Teferi and two Karn. I'm really wishing I brought in uh, like unmoored ego for the sideboard. That would have been nice. Hey, Saru, thanks so much for saying so, buddy. Glad to hear it. So this makes two, three, four, five. I think this works, right? So we just go Drowned Catacomb. If we tap three. I summon you. Let's make a red and a black. Yeah, that's it. I came for the magic and stayed for the beard. You and me both. You and me both. You can have a regular forest. I don't think it matters. But that's what we're going to do. That's what we're giving you, Chief. Um, for... Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we're attacking. We're just going to... Do they have counter spells in there? They don't have any counter spells. Maybe we're just maybe we're just too good for them. Okay, so let's discard watery grave here so we can play the oh, Alright. Yeah, getting searched out is better than just drawing a card this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can also flip Nickel, Nicky B next turn. Nickel Biscuits, as his friends call him, in prison. Oh. <laughs> 
Excuse me. Um, we can actually put this in the graveyard. In order... Oh, boy. That's a, that's a beautiful boy. What do they have? One Cleansing Nova in their deck. Hey, Settle the Wreckage? One Settle the Wreckage. Okay. I mean, they have a ton of fog effects, which is kind of obnoxious. What does this guy do on the backside? Exile the all but the bottom card. Oh, wow. We can probably win with that, right? Lava Coil is a pretty easy pitch. <laughs> what madness! My power is boundless. I know what must be done. I think we're done here. Tuck my nickel bolus. No. Fascinating. Because we get to see one, two, three, four, five, six cards next turn. So our odds of hitting a way to deal with this Teferi is pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, unless they literally just go next to the fate right now, which would be really obnoxious. Eric, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Okay, so they might not have it. They might just be trying to cycle through cards to find another Nexus. We can also play this and deal three to a Teferi. One, two, three, four, five, six. We would not have enough mana to do anything else after that. We could also get a Teferi back with Nicol Bolas, but I don't feel like that's good. Um, Graveyard that guy. Clarion, huh? Bolus told me I should do this. Well, it's just funny because Bolus is on the board. Um, oh, we can actually just kill the Teferi too. That's fascinating. I really want to cut. Oh, I kind of want to. We have two more turns to plus this guy. One, two, red, red. Play the cliff. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have one left over, so we can. Make them discard. Is that great? Probably not. Biscuits. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of the top three. So we need goes to eight, goes to ten, goes to twelve, goes goes ultimate. So four turns now instead of two, we'll get rid of a Teferi. Oh boy. For an all combat damage, sure. 
destroy all creatures. So long, my boy. Um, I'm gonna keep that because it's an answer for Tef. I will transform this for all screens. That was one cleansing nova that they have. <laughs> That's never happened before. I always have an answer. Oh, that's actually pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is seven damage. Um. Might as well draw in case we hit like a Teferi or something. Yeah, it's pretty good. So like if we can actually Eldest Reborn or Vraska's their their guys, I think we're in good shape. I don't know why it tapped most of my black sources, but I guess that's just how this works. If they end up drawing Teferi and we just can't play Vraska's Contempt because the, the client did not tap our mana correctly, being we should have had full control on. Kind of our fault, but mm, also not ideal to leave three white sources up in a deck that's predominantly black, blue, and red. Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, they didn't really do much is the thing. So, I mean, they have three cards in hand. They get to draw one card. It said, I think it said my turn, but mm, it should say end, end turn, I guess. Ascante is pretty obnoxious in that, like, it just, okay. It's not a, so one, two, three, four, five, six. You actually don't have enough for a Nexus right now. If you have land Nexus, you do, but... Okay, there's land. It's kind of obnoxious. Do they just lose the dragons though? They like they have to find their one settled wreckage. Okay. Now you have one, two, three, four, five. So I don't think that. I don't think you're also. I guess you have you have roots in air, so. Um, I guess we just make them use the root snare. Is there any other option? I don't think so. We can get rid of a lava coil here pretty easily. I don't need this. I need this. You, d you don't. You don't need that either. Start at 18, we can go 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, I don't need to throw Nicol Bolas away too if they have Settle the Wreckage as one of their three cards. Yep, figured you'd just use that. You can win. Okay. Match. So let's tuck one of your things, I guess. I mean, I don't really want to be drawing cards with Teferi at this point, so. Much more malleable than people think. I think we're just gonna end the turn. Plus, plus, plus. Yeah, seems good. Again. Did not keep up the black. This is actually a problem. We have to really address this next turn. Oh, it did actually. We do. We actually we have uh, we have dragon skull summon. Okay, thank. That's that's actually very good. That makes me feel a little better. Yep, that's a doozy. So how many Teferis are in here? Two, I believe. Okay. 
it's my turn. Nope. This is how it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I mean, they're only netting one card a turn. Okay, there's 24 cards in their deck, so every every hit is like one in f six. So. I mean, I have to assume that there's going to be a turn where they don't get it, but I don't know when that will be. Have they not drawn lands? Like, I don't know why they're not playing any lands. Playing that in response was a good a good choice because then you get to potentially draw it again. God, these games are just miserable, dude. At least I have four fours and five fives in my deck to try to kill you quickly. So their odds are like 25% to hit a Nexus of Fate at this point. And I, awkwardly, there's still one Teferi in their deck, so that they can still... I'm done. Like, I don't... I, I'm auto-passing. I don't know why it's still asking me to choose things. I just want to sit here and let them do whatever they want. Okay, I don't know why you're showing me this. I'm auto-passing. I don't know why you're asking me this. <laughs> yep. Is there any way I can win this game? I don't think so. We're just going to end the game. Oh god, why you would take this miserable deck to an event that's for fun? Like, we're having... Oh god. Cast down. Moment of Craven Long Cold. I think Vraska is the Star of Extinction. Uh, 
Uh, Vraska's contempt number million definitely goes in. Thief of Sanity seems good. I just never actually have time for the explosion expansion, it seems like. That's extremely frustrating. So I should be on the play. Let's see if that works. hand actually seems pretty all right so I'm gonna keep it literal four four of my losses have been control decks so yikes Actually, wait, why did they go first? I lost. Oh my god, I hate that I didn't even keep track of that. That's really obnoxious. <sighs> Definitely should have went first there. That's another thing I have to just keep track of. It's super obnoxious. Like, why is that a thing? cards, so I'm just going to decline. Ugh. Probably just better to get rid of the yes. <laughs> Nope, hand is still good. Still Perfect. keeping it. So you'll land Teferi. And then we're just forced to deal with all their planes well. Okay, charge force is fine. Yeah, I, I'm a little upset that we had to, we drew, we, we were we were out on a play here because I feel like that would have given us a significant advantage. Um, it's one of the things you have to keep track of because the game does not actually. Um, I will call the dragons. So we're gonna say blue and black. Having negate and disdainful stroke wins, am I actually able to win with Zephyr's ultimate? Hey, that 
was uncalled for. No, that was that wasn't necessary. Not uncalled for. I'll show you unhinged. Well, dang it. All right, we're looking for a third land there, but we did not find it. I mean, we get to ultimate Sarkon next turn. With no creatures in their deck, like, Disdainful Stroke is just worse than they do. But... They only have eight mana, so if they have nine mana next turn, they could technically play Cleansing Nova and Settle if they have both. Vintage Cube is up tomorrow, actually, so I'm quite excited about that. Alright. Well. Let's attack with Nikki B. Yolo. You want to fight? Your end has arrived. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Do I care about that? Even if you get rid of one of these guys, it's still fine. If you show remorse, mm -hmm. you know what? I'm not done yet. Yeah, see what happens. I bet they have Settle. Root Snare. I think that's actually fine. Cinco paid cleansing nova. I'm gonna cry. <sighs> Here we go. Hold that thought. The problem is if we negated and then they could have syncopated back, which is, I mean, then we could have disdainful stroked if it was enough. So no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, do they not have enough now? Now they go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, they still have enough. Fantastic. I mean, we go negate, they go syncopate, we go disdainful stroke because we would have had three up. I think we actually. I feel like we threw the game. We need to move quickly.
I mean, can they just not hit a Nexus of Fate every single time? I think we're okay if they miss. I feel like putting the Teferi shields down was super bad. <sighs> this is exhausting, dude. No time for a break. I don't care, please don't bring it up. I just want it to end. I feel like we threw this game. Uh, reason being, like we, like we could have actually negated their, their count, their fog, and then when they syncopated for three, because that's all we. I guess they would have syncopated for four, but then we disdainful stroke the syncopate, and like that's all they had at that point. So, I'm pretty sure we just threw this game away. I'm not really my, my heart has not been in this event after round one, unfortunately, which is really disturbing because there's a lot of line. Like, is it possible they whiff when they draw, like, three cards, they can search? Like, this is just ridiculous. Wait, that's not a thing. You don't have an extra turn lined up? Oh, you do. <sighs> it's like, wait, you don't have an extra turn? I think we might get a turn. No, we don't. They also have 15 cards in the library, so their odds of whiffing with an Ascanta is like a literal zero. And this is why I actually don't like um, competitive magic on, on this level. I don't like playing events like this because no I've spent uh, five hours here today so far. And, um, you know, first round we had a real shitty experience. Second round we lost the same deck we lost in the first round. Third round we won, which is great because we played against the deck that our deck was uh, favorable against. Fourth round uh, we get to play, or fifth round rather. Fourth round? Fifth round we played another Jeskai deck, uh, which we just couldn't beat because we're not geared towards that and then fifth round we're playing against a deck where we don't actually get to take any turns we need to move so quick. cool having a good time so yeah and i mean this is just not worth my time like i would have rather been doing something that's more fun i mean what are you gonna do like i i didn't want to play the negate and the disdainful stroke because i felt like we could have waited a turn i didn't think they were going to go off literally on like 
whatever turn it was, 6-7. So, anyway, um, probably dropping now. Not going to really play the next round. There's no real point to it. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Both the links are in the description below. Uh, I've gone over my thoughts about this event and um, my feelings on the metagame and why I didn't really have a great time. So I'm not going to really go over that again. It's all in this video at some point. But I uh, really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for hanging out. And uh, check you can also check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off and free shipping and free returns. So if you're gonna if you're in the market for those kind of things anyway, definitely use my affiliate link. It helps me out. It's a great way to support the stream. And uh, if you also want to, if you're looking for some sweet, sweet custom deck boxes made of actual wood from an actual craftsman, please check out Aaron Kane Deck Boxes, custom deck boxes. His link is in the description below and uh, you'll get 10% off with promo code Frank, which is super awesome. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.